Prepare to attack. Follow me to glory! Ha <laughs> it up! Heroes never die. I am ready to unleash the dragon. <laughs> Time for a new adventure! You are listening to Chug Point. Open An Overwatch podcast. Recorded live before a streaming audience. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines! Choke Point, episode three, recorded on August 3rd, 2016. I'm Brent Koblen. I'm Freckles. I am RPGamer99. We have got an epic show for you today. We are missing Aleph Knoll, but Bastion has taken the lower right spot for him today. He wasn't feeling that well, so uh, get well soon, Aleph. We hope you feel better. Uh, but uh, I'm sure Bastion will have a bunch of play of the games to show you when you get back, because that's what he does. And speaking of that, that's our hero highlight for today, as well as our weekly adventures and a bunch of other cool stuff to talk about. So how about we just go ahead and do that? RP, yeah. All right. what you been doing? Uh, as far as Overwatch, I only got a little bit of playtime yesterday because of the DDSO attack, DDoS attacks. Servers and stuff were down for quite a while. Uh, but I played a little bit tonight, got some Lucio Ball in, which we'll talk about later. Nice. Uh, lots of fun. And how about you, Freckles? Um, I played a lot. I got up to level 149, I think. Jeez. And Yeah. So, of course, I played some Lucio Ball, but we'll get into that. And but what I'm trying didn't. to do is, well, earlier in the week, I was trying to, been trying to branch out and play less. Barra and Junkrat, because those are the two that I play almost all the time. But I got really sick of losing, so I started playing them again so I could do better. But I'm trying to branch out some. Trying to. So trying to. who who was the who'd you play the most this week? Um aside from my two mains. Yeah. Do you mean? Uh a lot of time to Soldier 76. And I know he seems pretty straightforward, but I've not really done too well with him in the past. But I'm trying to I mean he Always remember the sprint. Is that so, like the yeah. hardest part? Yeah. I'm not Googling stuff right now. I can tell. <laughs> I have your full and undivided attention. Uh, and this week, I, I played um, Overwatch, too. I played some Lucio, Lucio Ball, uh, which, like RP said, we will talk about. And so I'll save my comments for it, even though I have some comments. And I'll probably forget them by the time we actually get to that segment. <laughs> But I'll try to remember to look back up here and see what the hell I was talking about. Um, I'll remind you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I guess that's kind of... Who's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the fucking box? So now y'all all know what was in the box. That was in the box. And now we'll move on to news and discussions. You know, let's make this look good for the evening news. And we got a few things here. We definitely had some patches and some DDoSing and some uh, Olympic stuff. RP, you want to tell me about the new stuff, the Olympic stuff that came in here? Uh, yeah, half of it was uh, Olympic skins and other items uh, were available since yesterday. They uh, were leaked early and there were Twitter pictures going around until finally they put out a blog post explaining what the new items were going to be for and how long and all that stuff is going to be available for three weeks until August 22nd. Um, and they are available in new loot crates, which have replaced the other loot crates. So if you still have your other loot, old loot crates saved up, those won't have any of the new items in them. So yeah. you've got to level up now, or you have to purchase them from the store if, if you buy them from the store. Not only that, but if you're... Uh, either just starting or close to 100, this is a great time to go back to zero because it's less XP, so you'll get more boxes. That's what my son you'll told me. Faster. And I'm at 95, I think. So I just That's need to, why you were waiting. Yeah. need to get five more levels so I can start getting the, the easy boxes. Piece of cake. We'll do that tonight. Sounds good. So we need to hurry up with the show. No, just kidding. <laughs> we take our time with this. We, we we're serious. We don't uh, rush. <laughs> and uh, speaking of the new brawl match this week, do you want to uh, talk about that a little bit, Frex? 
Sure. So it's called Lucille Ball, and it's like uh, is that like Lucille with... Ball? It's like Lucille Ball, but a little bit different. Let me explain. Okay. It doesn't have red hair. <laughs> um, it's three on three. So it is like the... anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry. So it's it's three on three, and basically you have to get the soccer ball into the other team's goal. You can't hurt each other. There's no damage or anything. You just you're a uh, you're your fire button is turned into like a melee punch and you punch the ball and then your alternate fire is your burst, yeah. which should, and there's some jump pads around and it's just a lot of fun. And you run around trying to score. Balls. And, and now there is, is one thing with your, you can push people with your gun though. So you it's, can't hurt enemies. You can't right, hurt them. Right. And your alt, uh, you do have an alt, but what it does is it draws the ball in your direction, like toward you. Yeah. So Until there's hit somebody else <laughs> and there's some epic plays. <clears throat> I uh, had it up. Oh, it's I, there's a link to it's it down somewhere. The links. Yeah. So I, since we're we're talking about it, but basically, Witcher, Witch, Witcher, that's proper English. Yep. In some uh, countries, I think France, where, uh, where Lucy, Lucille English. Ball is is from. So <laughs> I'm not buying time here so that I can put something on the screen, but. Um, Basically, like you were saying, here's a good play of the day from Gravity here is Lucio. And this is how you use your ult to suck in. The, or actually, you push someone away with your gun. Oh, it sucks them in. And then you can just knock it in. So it's a, it's a, it's a great little combo to do. I actually did something similar uh, tonight without the um, Gravity thing. I just pushed them out of the way and then got the score and it was fun. Nice. So try that. And it's a lot of fun. If you haven't tried the game mode yet, the only thing it's I don't like so about fun. it is probably the 3v3, just because, like, once yeah, you get into a group with like, more. Yeah. It, for, for me, it's the funnest brawl yet. I don't really get into brawls that much, but I, I like so, to try at least once a week. But this one I played, like, three or four times so far. It's really fun. And the short I game actually, is, like, three minutes, right? For like, three minutes? Four minutes. Four minutes. Close, Super fun. yeah. Four minutes. So, I yeah. I actually haven't played any of the brawls before. Um, but this one was a different game mode. Like usually the brawls are the same maps with the right. same stuff. You just, just different rules on like who you can play or how much, you know, health and stuff you have. But, uh, <clears throat> this is a completely different game mode. So that's why I wanted to try it out. BBJ says it's Overwatch meets Rocket League and I never played Rocket League, so I don't really know what that is, but I'm sure some of you do. It's very similar. That's like soccer with big trucks, cars, kind of. Uh, RC right? cars, yeah. RC cars. So yeah, that, that seems about right. Also, is this for the summer games? Is this the summer game, or do we know if there's other maps that they put in the game for this yet? Like maybe one each week that they do it. Right, like Reinhardt rugby, or I haven't. Uh, and then heard is it going to be the ball yet? until August twenty second, or will we get a new one next week? Right, right. I don't I, know. I feel like we should get. Well, I mean, this is awesome, but I also think three weeks of it may be a little. Uh, yeah. uh, I'll be ready for something new. <laughs> Same thing over and over. Yeah. Um, well, um, maybe they have one. Because, uh, you know, when, when you start the game up now, you sh it, it shows you the three heroes that have, like, the new skins. It's Lucio and Zarya and, uh, you know, the third one. Who is it? It's, it's the third one. On the... And Tracer. Tracer. So maybe there's, like, a yeah. map. For each of them, one each week. I mean, if there's a running one there's with Tracer or something, some kind of there's track. Weightlifting for Zarya. <laughs> or wrestling. Hey, you wrestle a bear. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, uh, lots of fun to be had. Lots of new skins. Now, there was a big commotion about these skins. We might call it a backlash that they had early on before uh, Kaplan came out and kind of. Uh, told people to shut up and quit their whining basically which i, I oh, think is still complaining yeah which but I, but i think he's kind of right it's like uh, it's been like a couple days let's give it a week and see how it's doing and um but basically i guess the big hubbub is is that you can't purchase any of the new skins and stuff with your right. your coins you can either buy the loot crates the loot boxes or win them in the games now i have won so many so far like just like every box has a new one in it that I, I can't be um, too upset and and 
this will happen next year too. Like it's it's not the last time you're gonna be able to get. I mean, no. If you stop playing, what the I game, think would be but... a nice compromise because yeah, like you're guaranteed to get one summer item in each loot box while this is going on. But I think a good compromise would be if they could somehow cut out duplicates because I've already gotten two duplicate items, summer oh, right. items. And I and got one like, crate that was all icons. If I'm only getting icons. one per crate, <laughs> I don't want to get duplicate summer items because I feel like that was. Yeah, I, I could definitely see that. No dupes. You're, you're definitely hindered by the random number number generator that you, you know, you're guaranteed to get one, but it could be you know one that you've gotten six times already by the time. Right, which I think a good compromise yeah. would be cutting out any. Yeah, and it, it's interesting to get currency for it, but I've got so much already from all the duplicates I've already gotten. Right, and that that works in the main game because you can go buy something with right. it from this thing. So. Yeah, it, it almost seems like maybe if they'd made like one skin for each uh, hero that you could buy with, with coins, but even you may get it free lot, too. Even if you have to pay four times as much in coins, it's something, it's something yeah. to work towards. Right. Uh, so, yeah, those are all good ideas. Uh, but like Jeff says, let's give it a week or two and, and see how it works out. And maybe we'll be like, holy frack, I got way too much of this stuff i've got everything and duplicates and uh so let's free coins um i guess that's all the the main news this week did we i mean there, well, was, there a was a patch. patch okay yeah yeah talk about the patch some i mean people love patches it wasn't, like, it wasn't yeah people do it wasn't huge so the competitive um mode the if you're if you leave a competitive match before it's over you have to wait 10 minutes before you can join another one and I guess that's to stop people from like rage quitting and then jumping right back in. Yeah, I think basically, basically people would get in and be like, "I don't like this matchup. I don't like what I've been stuck with. I want," and they just hop out and go play something else. And you're actually better off doing that early. I mean, you're gonna have a better chance of winning when you get the perfect match. Um, and and so, uh, ten minutes. Hopefully, it's enough to to stop that. But I mean, in other games you know like league of legends and things like that like like they have harsher penalties where you like lose yeah. ranking um, yeah. and that um, still doesn't Blizzard stop people MOBA also if you get branded a lever then it, it shows an icon on your thing and when you join a party it tells everybody else in the party this person is a lever and you have to play three games in their entirety to get rid of that icon i think that'd be good and then yeah. everybody knows yeah. you're a dirty dirty lever the no, no, no. other downside, though, is I was in one game where this Lucio uh, player was complaining and typing instead of playing and saying, oh, everybody sucks and you guys are losers. And what he did was he went over to a corner and just sat there the entire game while everybody else was fighting. He'd move around a little bit, but he just, out. yeah. Yeah, moving around just a little bit, and everybody's like, well, you're making the game so much worse just right. by sitting there. Why don't you leave so that we can get a player that actually wants to play? <laughs> yeah. Do, do you think they should institute some kind of, uh, like, kick vote thing like they have in a lot of games where, you know, if if three of the, the five people say, hey, this guy's, like, just harassing or whatever, we all I vote to kick him? I think that would get abused. I think that... Because, like, they had a thing in avoid this player button. Right. Where, like, so if somebody was, like, offensive or abusive or whatever, you could hit avoid them, and then it would never put you in a game with that player again. But people were abusing it because they'd come up against somebody that was just too good and be like, oh, I can't beat this person, so I never want to play them again. Block this person for me forever. And I think you'd run into a lot of the, a similar thing. That's the story of the 17-year-old Korean girl that was yeah. couldn't get in any matches at all because everybody blocked her because she's they too good as Zarya. thought that she was way too good. <laughs> no, she's a Widowmaker. So you, she's a oh, sniper. Was Zarya. No, so you, th you think people sniper. would just start start saying that even though she was on her team and start kicking her and just to keep her from playing? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I yeah. mean, that makes sense that, that people could, could do that. Abused, but I think the good probably outweighs the bad in Maybe. that situation sometimes people surprise me most of the time people would be like well that person's obviously not playing the game we've got to get rid of them yeah maybe maybe if they could somehow ramp up the detection a little more right like right now they have a you know you don't move for how long a minute or something a minute, yeah. 
then it'll kick you. But if people are like complaining that you're not doing something, maybe it ramps it up to 30 seconds or, I mean, I guess at some point you're just going to get hit by a, a stun dart and it's going to kick you. So that wouldn't work either, but <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it, you can report players. There's, there's a, you know, there's yeah. a mechanism to do that, but it's not immediate. You don't see immediate results when you do. Yeah. And that's, that's kind of the problem with, with the competitive stuff is, is it's so like, it's at this point, like, I don't want to play anymore just because I feel like I've just gotten bad matches now. And I just feel like every time I play, I just go down a little more. And yeah. I'm like, I, but I had all like gold stuff and, and I promise I was doing my best and I felt like I was doing good, but, but that guy in the corner just stood there. So maybe what we need to do <laughs> is put together our own five men team, six men. Six. But then you'll you'll <laughs> see that I'm lying and, and that I suck really, really uh, bad. Well, but at least we'll be having fun, and I won't okay. get that mad. Cool, let's do that. Uh, I, I do believe that if I were to go in competitive with a full group of six people, I wouldn't feel as bad if I just kept losing and losing and losing. Same. Me too. Uh, well, we got three. having fun with people. I mean, I don't, I don't care about letting you guys down. <laughs> so then we, get, uh, I'm worried about. we get Cheshire, uh, and then we just need two more. We got a yeah, team. Bet, we got a team. Y'all just wait. We're going to be at BlizzCon this year. Taking you all on. Yeah. <laughs> Calling it right now. Uh, there are also some uh, minor adjustments across uh, Watchpoint Gibraltar to help it better balance for defending and attacking teams. I don't really uh, know what those are. Yeah, like, they're were. so minor, they didn't even mention them in the patch notes. Right. They just said that they were minor. <laughs> Um, players can now select which type of loot box, standard or seasonal. That they like I saw that, but next. I couldn't figure out how, and I didn't want to risk losing my seasonal, well, so I didn't poke around too much. No, there's a a when you go in to look at your loot box, there's arrows down at the bottom, and you can switch over to the regular ones or switch back to the seasonal ones. If you have oh, okay. any of them, they'll show how many you have of that type. I thought that might have been so the case. Still have the previous and kinds. next, and then when I clicked on the previous yeah. arrow. It showed a regular loot box, but it was like grayed out. Like I couldn't. Click. Well, you didn't have any. But I had a like I had just earned a loot box, so I had was my seasonal, seasonal one, one showing, and then I hit previous, no. and it was. I don't know. Well, let's call it a bug. No, it's probably just not me, just not understanding what I was doing, which is more likely. Cool. Yeah. Uh, they fixed an issue with the AI from Anna from Restoring Allies, and it doesn't make care. AI stuff fixed. Yeah, also I, added I, I Lucio to the I AI. Lucio to AI, and I didn't realize that he wasn't in there. Right. So now yeah, he's there's there. a lot of them that weren't in there. I had no idea. But you know. Bitburner and I were surprised when we were trying to make the six-on-six -six matchup to view it. Uh, instead of playing in it, we were watching six bots fight six bots just to see what they do. We, we did six McCrees on six McCrees once, and we noticed that there weren't all of the uh, heroes weren't in there, so they don't have AI for all of the uh, oh, heroes. Interesting. So cool. I'm glad to see that events, right? Like, it's pretty cool to know that they're not just going to go, well, eh, we're doing good. Let's just let this rest for, you know, three months before we add anything. And I think you were talking about earlier, Freckles, about more holiday stuff that you're excited about coming. Well, I can't imagine that they're just going to do events for Olympics and like make us wait four years behind, you know, f between each one. And oh, it's uh, it's so, going to be one year. Every year they're going to do it in the summer. Is that it? Or are they going to do like Halloween no, events? No, no. Like Christmas they events? said more seasonal stuff too, so I'm yeah, sure that's what I was there's going to be other things. Speculating. Like, and, I really hope they do Halloween stuff because I love Halloween so much. And there are already sound files people have dug out from uh, different holidays such as Halloween and I try not to listen to Christmas. those because they're kind of spoilery <laughs> and I don't like that. Oh, don't listen to the new bumpers coming next week then. Okay. <laughs> Plug my ears. I, I won't. I, I'll, I'll make sure there's no spoilery stuff. Absolutely none. I don't promise. Okay, it's fine. So, okay, this week we've got a hero highlight without a bumper, and this week is Bash. And last week we hit Anna up, and we didn't really tell you too much about her except for the basics because she's new, and and we basically need some more time playing her. But starts with A, and she's new, so we talked about it a little bit. We'll come back around on her, but this time we're talking about Bash, in which um, I think... And and if I'm talking out of turn, just let me know. But I think most of us probably don't play Bastion too much because, you know, um, annoying, right? 
kind of feel like, man, it's just going to... feels too much like cheating. <laughs> <laughs> right? And I don't know if y'all played um, Bastion anymore this week. That I was did. the the assignment. I did my homework. But I didn't want to call anyone out, just in case. I have already played a few hours worth of, of him, so I felt confident enough to be able to um, tell stories of what I've done so far. And I guess I'm going to hit down uh, some weapon stuff. Uh, you know, he's got the uh, configuration recon, which is when he's running around with his weapon. Really low ammo. He only has like uh, 20, 20 ammo. Um, and that's like eight rounds per second. Um, I pretty much, if I get in combat with that, I either try to back out or just like, I'm going to die. Just how I kind of feel with it. So um, either in or out and heal up. Uh, the next one is his the sentry. You might know about the sentry. <laughs> his Configuration. default mode when he's killing everything. Yeah. So he's got uh, 200 ammo at that one. It fires 35 rounds per second. So like that's what like seven or so seconds, almost mm -hmm. seven seconds. Sounds right. Of uh, pure damage and death, and that's usually enough to get a uh, play of the game right there, right? Usually, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, the next, he's got his reconfigure, which is um, changing between those two. And it takes a, a one and a half seconds to uh, move into sentry and then 0.5, se half a second to go into recon. So he can hop out real fast. Now, one thing I didn't, that I was actually trying to kind of gauge tonight and I, I didn't actually play enough because, like, right when I was thinking about testing it, the match ended, and I never actually got back to testing. But maybe y'all know. If not, we'll find out and, and talk about it next show. But does his ammo? Because it, it seems like it reloads when he comes out of form because it's he he's got the ammo again twenty because it goes from two hundred to to twenty. But does it keep it separate? So if he moves back and forth, like back into Sentry mode, will he be at 200 or will he be what he was before he, you know, the last time he was in Sentry? I haven't paid attention, but I have not lived long enough to know. Because maybe that's a good way to, instead of like reloading, to like hop up, move, and then jump back down and you might have ammo again. I don't know. I need to test that out. JBJ, do you know? Might take longer to do that. Yeah. No, I, I think it would take longer in general, but I, I think. In some instances, be as vulnerable. right? It's like getting out of the way and then coming back, and things like that. So, and they probably even, you know, the reload time's only like two seconds in Sentry. So, if it takes a second and a half to, or actually only half a second to go into one, so it takes two seconds. Right? Look at that. I'm a math genius. <laughs> I just added one and a half and math. half, and so it's the same. So, but so, but you're moving. So anyway, that's something to think about when you're doing that. And then when you die because you're out of ammo with both, and go, ah, son of a bitch, he's wrong. <laughs> Who knows? We'll just have to try and find out. Also, he's got the self repair, which it that was probably my hardest part playing Bastion was remembering that I have that damn thing. Yep. Uh, so you that'll heal you seventy five hundred. After playing for a while. <laughs> And then last but not least, his uh, last form, Voltron, configuration <laughs> tank, where he does um, a lot of damage. I think uh, 205. Uh, he gains armor and max health, and he moves faster, I believe, 5.5 meters fast. per second. Yeah. Uh, and then he shoots out infinite ammo for eight seconds. So shoot as much as you can and do a bunch of damage. Now, what when y'all play Bastion, what are some of the tactics y'all do? RP, I'm going to you. The one thing I remember when I got, you know, plays of the game often, I was set up in uh, Volskaya Industries in that room off to the side where it just shoots across the big archway as defense. And there was a dedicated mercy that just made sure that I was healed the whole time. And I never needed to move. I never needed to, to re, uh, you know, convert back into recon mode or anything. And they never made it through the archway, the other team. And if they did, it was all mopped up by the, 
the six or the four of the people on the team. Nice. And that felt like cheating to me. (laughs) Yeah. Yes. What about you, Freckles? What's your favorite tactic? Um, I don't know that I really have one. So war games tactic. I didn't find him a lot of fun because, uh, in recon mode, he's kind of awkward and lumbering and doesn't have a lot of ammo, so he's not real useful. And then when he's um, a turret, he has no mobility, and I hate that, and I just feel vulnerable. <laughs> and, like, I mean, yeah, it's okay for a little bit if you're protecting a point, like RP was saying, and and, and you don't have to move at all. But I, I think his tank mode is really fun, but not i don't like it enough to suffer through building up to that point point. and sometimes it can be like just a letdown when you're like ah i was i should have killed at least five people it's kind of boring <laughs> just sitting there and shooting and the first time i did it we were on watch point gibraltar and we were defending and they were just like steamrolling us and i was like i have to play bastion this week anyway i'm gonna switch and I switched, and I killed them all in, like, no time, and it was great. And I was like, now I see why everybody plays Bastion. <laughs> but from that point on, like, once they knew that I existed, they didn't really have a whole lot of trouble killing me. And it wasn't Yeah, there that are easy though. counters to him yeah. because he doesn't move. Because he doesn't move, um, exactly. Yeah. Roadhog's chain immediately pops you out of the, the sentry mode. And you're toast. Um, yeah. A reaper gets up behind you and just circles you while he's shotgun. Yeah, tracer. That's what I do as yeah. reaper as I kill bastions uh, when they're set up as sentries. Right. Yeah. Diva's got the shield, so she can really block the damage while people kill. Uh, Genji reflects the damage back at him. Oh, and I hate that one. So if if you're a bastion one. and you see a Genji all of a sudden start spinning his sword, stop firing. Wait Heal yourself. Finish. And then keep going. <laughs> yeah, for me, it's when I hear it. I have to go by sound on Genji. When you hear that ching, 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 I didn't stop firing at him. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, and, and a lot of them got it. You know, fair from far away, she can peek out and do the peek and. Well, we yeah. got to come up with a term for that peek and blow. Peek and blow. <laughs> no? Sure. Something like that. Uh, and Tracer, she can throw her old and kill Bash and pretty fast maybe instant um which i don't like <laughs> being killed by her uh, i have a story about that like anything about as it. a bastion i'm set up somewhere and this tracer was on some level above me they zipped out threw down their ult and then zipped back never even was on the ground <laughs> at oh. once <laughs> immediate death i'm like where did it come from and i'm watching the replay and it's like two two oh above me <laughs> nice uh also his, his heel is is like you just hold it down and it keeps yeah i didn't know that when i started and i was like that didn't last very long or do anything and then chester's like yeah you have to hold it and i was like ah. yeah and it's 25 percent per second so it lasts until cancel um or in, until uh you take damage that'll knock you out of it as well so uh, hide behind something and use it um, there's some good heroes to work with Bastion, too. Reinhardt and his shield is always a nice um, protection, especially if you need a heal or something. Just don't do it when I'm Reinhardt, because as, as the Zinnia told me tonight, don't bring your shield down, man. Start crying. Oh, I'm yeah. Like, that's don't how I, ever take your shield down, ever. We'll, we'll talk about it on Reinhardt. There's, I, people don't understand. you got to pull the shield down to let it heal. Anyways. Uh, Torbjorn's, uh, I think, pretty good with Bastion. They can really kind of cover each other, I think. So it's kind of a nice... I, I have a know. really hard time Lots justifying having one of each on a team. <laughs> with your defense? Yeah. You want two Torbjorns. You love Torbjorns. I do, but... <laughs> but I was in a match just... where there was three uh, Torbs and two... Bastions and a mercy, and we couldn't get into the room that they were in. Forget it. We just couldn't. Well, and and I think one of the the things that really is kind of good to have uh, those two together, Torbjorn and and, um, and actually Symmetra, and uh, it is the barriers and the shields and the armor, like all that, the survivability that that gives uh, to Bastion, because 
of the heel added on really, um, I think, helps out. I will add that when I am Torbjorn and we have a Bastion, I always make it a point to walk up to him and throw his shield onto him so that he doesn't have to get into recon mode and go get his armor and come back. That's a good, so good point. I know. <laughs> so I, just, I try to throw the armor directly on people. Yeah. So they don't we need to do a video where the engineer Torbjorn just keeps throwing it right next to Bastion and just have Bastion just <laughs> looking at the Torbjorn. Make him get up to take two steps. Yeah, I think that'd be humorous. To say the least. Um, yeah. No, I think that's uh, Bastion in a a armor shell. Nutshell. Something like that. Um, <laughs> so next week we'll, we'll talk about the next um, one in order. I don't know who that will be. Diva. Diva. That's right. Diva with her changes and her overpoweredness. They'll probably have a nerf by next week. So it'll be a good timing to talk about Diva. Um, so yeah, that leads us on to, uh, uh, Toby Turner's workshop. Wait, is that the cartoon dude? Toby. I don't think I know. Timmy Turner. YouTube, Timmy. Yeah. Timmy Turner. Timmy. With the two fairies that fly around with him. No one ever had to watch that with their kids. I promise it was uh, with my kids. No. Fairly odd parents. Right? Yes. So yeah. such a good cartoon. I don't, I didn't remember the kid's name, but I know what you're talking about. Cosmo and Wanda. Were the there you go. Yeah. Okay. Some good stuff there. So, um, yeah, what's some ideas? What, what you got, Frex? Uh, my idea, it's, it's more of a piece of advice, is to be a team player. Just keep in mind that this is a team game, and it behooves you to keep your teammates alive and to help your teammates out. I cannot count how many times I've been fighting with somebody, and a teammate will just walk by. Or a fight will happen and my teammates will bail out. And I'm like, if you stayed here, we could have handled this together. We could have killed them and we'd be fine. But people just take off and they're like, oh, I'll let you deal with that. Don't. I mean, at least like lob a grenade or a rocket and help me out a little. Yeah. Like it's a team game. Be a team player. That's all I ask. I like that. Now that's a tip and trick. That's old Winston's playbook. I think I someone's not. I think someone's not following the uh, show notes again. But <laughs> I thought I was doing so well. We'll 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 go to that, and then we'll go back and and to see how Toblerone's doing with his workshop. Uh, RP, what's your uh, Winston's playbook tip tip of the week? Oh my god! Now I gotta. <laughs> I know, right? Now you gotta scroll. Blame Frex. Um... Okay, because we already did the Torbjorn stuff. Not not yet. Okay, fine. You're Mine keeping us on our toes. Knowledge, it's all good. But... It's all good. I haven't thought um, of any of these ideas yet, so I'm just hoping something just comes to me my tip this week is uh i learned the best time to use your alt like for instance if lucio has just done his sound wave and everybody's got extra shields not a good time to run in as reaper and do the die 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 because you're not doing damage to them you're doing damage to their shields that they have right <clears throat> learning a good time to combine it with a teammate is also good like Zarya uses her ability to gather everybody all up into one spot, and then Hanzo shoots his dragon, um, <clears throat> his dragon arrow right through the middle of that, and just kills them all right in one shot. Nice, nice, nice tips. Y'all both had some really good tips there. Liked them <laughs> a lot. They're really good stuff. Um, so yeah, let's move on to Torbjorn's workshop. I guess I'll start with RP, so because he's probably in the right section now. Uh, well, mine was pretty much already covered. Um, I like that they're adding skins and everything. Um, I kind of hoped that even if you're paying more credits to get the new seasonal stuff, uh, it's still you know something to work for instead of I have to wait and hope that I get lucky on this box that I have. Or even if you bought a whole bunch of boxes, you have to wait and hope that you get what you're looking for out of all these boxes that you purchased. Um, instead of uh, being able to maybe save up a whole lot of coins and then be able to get that one thing that you're looking for. Sounds good. He's totally listening. I, I was. How about <laughs> your idea, 
correct? Well, so this is a good time. I mean, like I said, we already did this, and <laughs> my speculation was that they're going to be doing other seasonal events like Halloween and and maybe some winter events and stuff. Oh, okay, I see. So that's um, yeah. <laughs> What yeah. what kind of Halloween event would we you like to Halloween. see? <laughs> well, we talked about in the news about uh, you know that they were doing events and stuff. Uh, um, I don't know. I would like to see some fun Halloween skins, like, like so maybe skins. a witch costume for Widowmaker, or I don't know. Oh, yeah, costumes. I haven't really put a whole lot of thought into it, but some fun skins I think would be really great. At yeah. least some fun skins, maybe some some like you remember TF2 used to do their Halloween events and they were yeah. always so much fun. Okay. Yeah, no, that's, that's yeah. good stuff. Um, I would like to see uh, permanent skirmish mode. Almost, uh, so you can, you know, go in and practice stuff. You're not on a, like, not on a team. Like, everybody's all for yourself, skirmish mode. So, like a, like an arena? Deathmatch, okay. basically. Deathmatch style. It could be fun. And, uh, and I think it'd be a, a fun way to, like, test new heroes without having to go just screw with bots for 30 minutes. Like, now you can just load up anything, go in, and just, okay, I'm going to try this, try that. And it's against live people um, and stuff like that. So, yeah. So that and stuff. Um, we did have some links here. We will put these in the show notes. Uh, it's the stuff from the Summer Olympic Games video as well as the developer update. And that play you might have seen earlier from Gravity which is uh, pretty awesome. I, I feel like taking all these, because like, I don't know if you have looked at gift cat uh, for a lot of these overwatch plays, but there's a lot of really epic plays and like just mashing like 10 of those together into a video, I think would be fun. But uh, I don't know if that's okay. Hey, I've submit them. A few of mine. If you want um, to play. Aleph had a, a tip for this week, even though he's out sick, but well, his tip Well, maybe is, we should save it for letters. him. No, <laughs> he put it in this week. He wanted it done. Oh, okay. Thank, Thank your healers. healers. And I agree. I absolutely agree. Is that like tip your waiters? Yeah. It's kind but of the same thing, Especially if I right? call that I need healing and somebody immediately comes, I always make it a point to thank them. Uh, I, you know, I've stopped talking to people I don't know in games. It's well, such an asshole thing. Happen. But it's like, I mean, not like teamwork stuff, but like at the end of the game, um, like, like t typing in these games, like if we're talking, like I'll say good game and stuff, but typing is just like, ah, I'm done with typing GG. Give me an emote or something. That's, I don't know, that makes me an asshole, but I don't care. Yeah. I'm sure nobody's like, that one guy did not say GG. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get votes. I'm pretty sure they say that. I'm pretty sure that he didn't do it. I'm sure people have lost sleep with it. <laughs> the worst. You have ruined a kid's night. <laughs> yeah. People are like, this guy is the worst. That's super asshole. Stop talking about the worst. We got to call in. It's a joke there. The best. Uh, this is our favorite listener of all time. JBJ Blaze. What are they calling? Don't know what it says. <coughs> Well, greetings there, Chunky Pointers. This is JBJ Blaze. That's a mediocre Primal Rage impression there. But anyway, I'd like to dedicate my missing idea from the last show to my father, who is celebrating his birthday tonight, which turns out to be the same night as this very fun show, which has been such so far. But also, my idea is to force players during competitive play, mind you, just for that mode, to use team voice chat channel rather than group voice or whatever, because we've all preached to each other before that lack of communication during gameplay can be very detrimental to it. So thanks for the great show, happy birthday to my dad, and bye bye Thanks for the help! Uh, thanks for the call in, JBJ Blaze. Uh, Happy what, what? birthday to JBJ's dad. See, see, I'm an asshole, and I just blazed over that. Just saying, <laughs> Happy birthday. Good game, father. Uh, but yeah, the, those birds were loud. Is that what we all learned from that call? That's what we all took away from that. We got loud birds. birds. Loud. But no, seriously, going back to that. So there's two voice communication modes you can be in, either team or group. And if you're in group and you go into a team game, you stay in group. Unless 
there is a trick you can do. If you auto join group, set, I believe this is right. Auto, no, team. Set team to auto join, but set group to default. Um, you You'll, can just push P and well, yeah, choose which chat you're in. You can do that. Or this is automatic. Now when you're in a group, you'll be in a group. But as soon as you go into a team match, it'll automatically switch over to team. And so it's doing exactly what JBJ Blaze is kind of asking for. It's already in there. But I think he wants everybody to do it. Like, what do y'all do? Like, a lot of times we just stay in group. And we'll have, like, the one stranger yeah. danger that we just, oh, well, screw them. Yeah. But I have a good story about that. When Feckles and I were playing, like, two weeks ago, we decided, hey, let's just join the team chat and use that as our group chat. See what happens. We, you know, did our normal stuff. We're talking to each other. And about halfway through the match, I think it was one of those where you played three different maps. Ilios, um, I think. Yeah, somebody else started, you know, laughing or, or you know, um, joined in, in in the conversations that we were having and, and, you know, calling out where the enemies were and all that stuff. And I bet that was somebody who would never have said anything had we not been talking to start. Yeah, we weren't talking. That's a good point. Yeah. So, um, so what do y'all think? I think that it's, I mean, I think talking to your team is, is definitely going to make you play better as long as you're not a jerk. <laughs> what are you trying to say? No, and you like, can mute yeah, the jerks. You run into people that are jerks and they're like, shut up, or I'm not going to do that, or stop being garbage, or, you know, whatever. And just, yeah. My point is, team team chat is a useful thing if you use it responsibly. Yeah. And, and also, don't, don't, don't talk too much off topic because it's so, so distracting. I, yeah. And, and so, like, I had a match the other night where there was a Bastion playing. Gibraltar, great match to play Reinhardt on. I don't know what I... Did I say Reinhardt? I feel like I said Partly. something else. You said Reinhardt. Okay. But he's playing Reinhardt. I'm stroking out here again. But <laughs> he's playing Reinhardt, and um, he wasn't pushing. Like, there's, I think, an art to not just playing Reinhardt and standing on the cart and letting the cart take your ass forward, that there's a little bit of push you got to do sometimes to get them away from the cart so that the other people can push the cart. And so I don't think I said it real dickishly, but I just said, you got to push into him. You know, you can't just stand on the card. And he, and he's, he started calling me names and stuff. And so I switched to Reinhardt and showed his ass how to do it. And we, we ended up winning when he couldn't push the cart 10 feet. And I was just like, look, I wasn't trying to be a dick. I really was just trying to help you out and give you a tip. And he didn't say anything after that, but it was just like, I, I don't know. It's like maybe I need some kind of training in, in art form into uh, dealing with assholes or something. I don't know. But um, No, I think it just depends on the person you're dealing with. Um, because there are times where, like, I want to say, like you said, I want to say something helpful. Like, um, you have to touch the cart to contest it. Or you have to be on the point to contest it. Or, you know, just step on it and it'll start the over. But I, I know that there's no way to say things or type things <laughs> like this to a complete stranger. Hey, asshole, get, get on the cart. cart. Right, like no matter and, what, it's going to come across as "Hey, asshole," and right. that's not and my as the adrenaline is pumping and everything's going around. You say it quickly, they might think, "Oh, yeah. you know, they're being a dick or whatever." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, and I'll do that. I, I'm like, I am the worst at that. I'll be like, "Kill the, kill the sentry, kill the sentry," and somebody's like, "I'm trying." And I'm like, I didn't mean that as a dick. I'm just saying, Stop like, at me, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to let you know that hey, I've got the shield up. Let's do this. You know, that's all. Right. Um. But yeah, so hey, it sounds like we're perfect teammates. We should get in competitive mode. We should, and, we should play this game. Own this world. <laughs> Love uh, it. So that was a great call in. Um, thanks for that. You can always send in your own call in at speakpipe.com slash uh, choke point. Or you can tweet us at choke point pod. You can email us at choke point pod at gmail.com. I think I got all those right this time. Um, and this was actually a pretty quick show. I think uh, being down down a, a man this time uh, took you know a few minutes out. So um, thank you all for tuning in. And any final words? Does anybody have anything to say? Thanks for watching. Not when you put me on the spot like that. 
<laughs> oh well. I guess with that we'll just we say need, bye. We need to just default to Reinhardt's catchphrase. Catchphrase. <laughs> Hey, the end's in sight. You are now at the end of another episode of Choke Point. That's a star performance. A podcast brought to you by LargeMarge.media. Go there for more information or leave us a voicemail at speakpipe.com slash chokepoint. You can also follow us on Twitter at chokepointpod. Well done, my friend.